May 3, Friday, Feast of Saints Philip and James the Apostles A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John Jesus said to Thomas, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing His works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Or else, believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever believes in me will do the works that I do, and will do greater ones than these, because I am going to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord Show us the Father In the midst of Jesus' solemn pronouncements during the Last Supper, Philip interrupts him with the remark, Master, show us the Father and that will be enough for us. Philip is not satisfied when Jesus says that if the disciples know Jesus, they likewise know the Father. He wishes to have a personal experience of what he has been told. Pope Benedict XVI exhorts us to recall the aim to which our whole life must aspire, to encounter Jesus as Philip encountered him, seeking to perceive in him God himself the Heavenly Father. If this commitment is lacking, we will be reflected back to ourselves as in a mirror and become more and more lonely. Philip teaches us instead to let ourselves be won over by Jesus, to be with Him, and to invite others to share in this indispensable company and in seeing or finding God to find true life. Let us pray with the psalmist, one thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the Lord's house all the days of my life, to gaze on the Lord's beauty, to visit His temple.